My story begins um, in Sri Lanka. I grew up in a Muslim home, a very devout home. I remember my father was uh, one of the leaders of the mosques ever since uh, as a little girl I remember being surrounded by uh, Islamic culture and Islamic tradition. Um, that was what I breathed, like that was everything. I had heard about Jesus in the sense of, you know, you, in Islam they talk about it and Jesus is a man, and, but I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that you could become a Christian. I thought you were born into it. The same way I was born into being a Muslim. I thought you were born into being a Christian, so you can't really convert. And, uh, but what changed that is one night, um, I had one of my, a fight with my brother where I ended up being physically harmed. And it was just, I was done. I was done because I, I emotionally felt broken to pieces and I physically was hurting. And it was at the point of, okay, if this is all life has to offer, I don't want it. Like, I'm done with life. Like, I, I, I'm just done. And I remember uh, hearing from somebody that I could pray, but pray not with uh, in Arabic, because how we pray in Islam is you pray in Arabic, and I didn't know Arabic. And so you just read and memorize a bunch of things that you don't know. And But praying with my own heart, like with my own words, like talking to God, that just astounded me. And so uh, that night I got on my knees and I said, I cried out, I said, God, if you're real, show me who you are. I said, if it's, if you're Buddha, if you're Allah, if you're Jesus, whoever you are, I remember weeping and crying, stop hiding from me. And I said, if, if, if this is the truth, I will give my life to it. 